Well, what's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Mint 10 Outdoors. How's your Saturday going? Time you see this, I'll probably be on the road. Got a little meeting to do, and uh, well, you'll see more about it coming weeks. Um, one of the things I'm doing right now uh, is I'm going to be taking something out of the truck that uh, I didn't use this year. And the way things look, won't be using. So give me a second, we'll get all set it up and we'll take a look at it together. Okay, so we're back. Um, so one of the things I did not use very much of this year in my gear, in my loadout, um, you kind of surprised me that I didn't. And now that I think about it a little more, I think I want to get away from it, having to use it, camping anymore. And that's my Coleman Lantern. I did not use the propane lantern one time this year. Um, I thought maybe I would light up the camp a little more with it than what I did, but I didn't. Um, matter of fact, I used all of my solar or my rechargeable lights more than I did anything. So <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do with the old Coleman Lantern is I've actually got two of these things. So I think I'm going to take both of them, uh, just leave both of them up here on the shelf, and I may get one more battery operated type light. But for the most part, I used, and I've done videos on them, I'll attach, I'll attach the videos of my camp lighting. I'll put it up here. But I don't see any use in taking that lantern anymore. Um, if anything, I'll dedicate the fuel to um, the heater. And when I do more winter style camping this year, and of course cooking, um, I'll use the propane for cooking and everything. So anyway, I'm going to take the propane um, lantern completely out of the equation for 2022 camp season. Um, I will keep the fuel in my basket. Uh, probably had a couple other things in this basket, but basically I keep just the fuel in this thing right now that stays in the back of my truck. This is one of those collapsible milk crates. Um, I keep it in the back of the truck and did have this in there with it. So I'm going to take that out and um, we'll just leave this for fuel. Maybe not so much fuel as I've got right now um, in the um, you know cooking season and everything. I mean one of these will last me a whole camp trip so I really don't need this much fuel unless I was going to be gone for multiple days. Um, now, I will say with that fuel, that um, gas one stove that I've got, I will say and give you a heads up, if you're looking at one of those stoves, just know the butane is better for the summer type weather and the propane is better for the winter type weather. Um, I learned that the hard way, that the butane just would not cook when it got below a certain temperature. It just, it cooked slow um, and just wouldn't cook. So I would, I actually switched over in the middle of camping. Matter of fact, our last camping trip, me and Chloe did, I switched over to a one pound cylinder and the stove came back to life. So anyway, that's it. It just, uh, I didn't want to make this a Tuesday video. I just thought I'd throw it in as a, you know, tech type Saturday video. But yeah, I'm going to do away with the old Coleman lantern, propane lantern, and everything is going to strictly be rechargeable or, yeah, well, or solar. So that's getting that out of the truck. Now, after it warms up, this will come close. Well, no, it won't because I'll still be using some fuel for cooking, but I may be able to knock this completely out of the truck. We'll see. Uh, just take a canister or two with me. Always, now I will say this, I never go with just one canister because these can fail. These can fail. I've never had happen, but I've heard of it happening. Like this canister right here, pretty much empty. This one, probably, pound, I mean, it's probably halfway, three quarter, maybe a quarter away. We do have the scale, I can weigh it. 
and see what the ball weighs. These two are brand spanking new, have never been used. But when I'm camping and I'm cooking just for myself, one of these will last me all weekend and then so matter of fact, this particular cylinder, I think the reason why it feels empty is I've cooked three meal, uh, three campouts on this cylinder. So I don't use a lot of fuel. So I, I that's why I don't mind buying it. Uh, I know some people refill those things, but I'm not going to do that. Just not going to do it. But anyways, guys, that's it for this week. Um, like I said, I'm hitting the road when you see this. So maybe later on in the evening before I respond to questions or anything uh, comment-wise. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, means a lot to us. We love seeing this channel grow. We're almost at 1,500. I thought we would do it before the weekend, but we may be close. Uh, so anyways, guys, I appreciate everybody's support and everything. Hope you have a great weekend. Like I said, I got some stuff coming. Uh, all the cameras are charged, ready to roll, and uh, I'm headed out Saturday morning when you see this. i will probably be already on the road with another YouTuber, meeting up with another YouTuber. So, all right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you. Stay tuned. There's some big news coming. Be prepared. See you on the next one.